Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. But, there you go. That's Georg! Bye, Georg! I am the Great Fairy of Courage from the West. DUDE! 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 Uh, oh, excuse me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm your host, Silent Senior 09, and today is the first Saturday of the new year, 2013. It is also dawn of the first day. Hoorah! Yay! Oh, hushity hush. We'll go to we'll get to the Eastern Canyon soon enough, Navi. Navi. Tattle. Good lord, man. Come on. Just because it's been a while since you record doesn't mean you need to forget all the characters' names. I mean, for crying out loud, man. For crying in a beer cheese soup. Get with the program, man. So, uh, I think last time we were together, I said something along the lines of, we have a crap ton of stuff to do. And, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. It's a Popeye. He's a Popeye. He's one and he's a kill your puppies. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot that the dog actually has a positive reaction to the Zoros. For some reason, dogs like the fishmen, I guess. I haven't figured that one out. Well, I suppose for the first order of business, we're going to go ahead and work on the Deku Sales Tradesmen. Um, if you remember, we picked up a land title deed once upon a time, and... We actually used that land tunnel deed, except we used it as some toilet paper, of course, on the first use for it. You know, aside from using it to actually own the land, which is near, which is in Clocktown and then South portion. Um, we're actually going to use that for something else. So excuse me while I go ahead and pick us up a land title deed. Smack that out on the floor. Smack that. Give me some more. Smack that till you get sore. Smack that. Ooh oh ooh oh. We got the land title deed! Woohoo! Yay! Sir, you've really helped me out! <laughs> now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't seen a jewel or strange shining stone like this in quite a long time. <laughs> the title deed for the spot will be in big demand by Deku Scrubs outside of town. You should be able to sell it to Deku Scrub for a good price. Price? Oh, sorry. I was trying to actually do like a Im uh, an Im imitation, not an imitation. Uh, my best interpretation of Davy Jones in the Pirates of the Caribbean when he when he's talking to Jack Sparrow about how many souls he needs to gain in order to pay off his debt with him, actually, for sailing ten years on the Black Pearl. Anyway, sorry. You guys don't need to hear that. Now that we have the land title deed, we're going to go ahead and head back to the Southern Swamp. Where that one dude who kept selling us magic beans. No, not the one who was eating them while selling them to us. Uh, we actually want to sell them, or sell, trade this to the guy in the southern swamp. So let's go ahead and head there right now. Hopefully my capture card behaves itself because I've been noticing every time I warp, it actually messes up for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the bright light or what it is, but... I just know I really hope it actually decides to behave itself during this recording session. Because I've already had to re-record re some of the stuff. Well, actually, I haven't had to re-record anything lately, but... I'm just talking about past events. It's just, it's been a mess. Alright, so what you're going to want to do for your next tidbit is you're going to talk to this guy right here as Link. And he's going to talk to us about, you know, how he sells magic beans and all that, but he would like to move somewhere else that would be more livelier. And he's like, you know what I mean, right? I don't know, what what do we what do you mean? Well actually we kinda know. Let's go ahead and give him the land title deed and see what he says to that. Oh, that's a town land de title deed. I wish you'd let me have that. Well, what do you think I have it floating mystically in my hand for? I'll give you this land in return. Deal? No deal! Oh wait, no. We got the Southern Swamp Land title deed. Yay! I'm going off to town right now. I'll leave the rest up to you. Rest of up to me? What? What are you talking about, fool? What do you think this is? You think I'm doing all your dirty work? I don't think so. Move your bags, fool. I'm not a U-Haul truck. Anyway, 
So the reason we went ahead and gave him the land title deed in the town is actually to get a heart piece, which is the first of, I don't think I said, there are actually 10 heart pieces. Excuse me, let's try that again. There are actually 10 heart pieces we can pick up before we head off to the Eastern Canyon. And I intend on getting all 10 of them. So that means by then we'll have at least two full hearts completed. And we're also going to have two extra masks in tow. I don't know if we'll be able to get it in one episode. I'm going to try my best to get as many as we can. But I can guarantee this. I'm going to be really sick and tired of backtracking after this mess. Especially since I, especially since there's no way I'm going to be able to do the Anju Kafi thing. I remember saying that I was going to do that with you guys. But uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that till after at least I set my foot in the canyon, kind of. Well, I guess I could before, but anyway, we'll worry about that bridge when we cross over it, you know? So I'll meet you guys where the uh, Deku scrub business guy was that sold us the big bomb bag, so peace and happy trails! Well, that was wicked, man. I'm totally saving that. <laughs> This isn't Tony Hawk, man. You don't save tricks that look cool. You just save the commentary. What the heck, man? Anyway, uh, so when you come to the Deku businessman that sold us the big bomb bag, what you want to do is you want to talk to him, actually. And he's going to offer, he's going to talk about, well, you know, I kind of want to go where it's surrounded by trees and grass, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, he's like, do you know what I mean? I'm telling you, they all think, oh, shoot, crap. My bad. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I'm not doing a whole lot of reading because my throat's kind of sore tonight, so the least amount of reading I have to do, the better. Ah! That's a swamp title deed! I wish you would give that to me! Well, what do you think I'm holding it for? I'll give you this land in exchange! This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island. Oh no. I used to love that s I mean, I still do love that song, but when I was a kid, I really... Well, kid. Kind of, I mean, yeah, I'm not a kid now, but I, I sound like I'm an old fogey, I guess you could say, when I start saying things like that. Oh my gosh. I guess that's a sign that, yes, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't remind me, guys, I'm getting older. <laughs> it's not, uh, my birthday isn't until January 30th, but still. I always get this feeling right after Christmas. I mean, Christmas is fun and all, and I'm like, no! It ended too soon, you know, I mean, because I'm always, I spend my Christmases with my family usually, and I have a lot, I have like a boatload of laughter and fun to share with them. So it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, well, crap. My family had to go off in their several different directions, you know, wherever they came from, whether it's Georgia, Colorado, wherever they went, came from. And I get to go back to getting another year older. Fantastic. No, I do not want to say progress. Let go, let go. Lego! Lego my ego man! Cha! Alrighty, so I'll meet you guys in Maiku's room for the next Deku businessman. Oh, I got one for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in. It's cold outside. Okay, that was even stupider. Anyhow, as you'd imagine, guys, the next thing you would have to do is you would have to put on the Goron mask and talk to the Deku scrub as a Goron. Gee, is there a chain going on here? Thanks for stopping, boy. Oh, you're from the mountains. Hmm. <laughs> I'm selling green potions, but I'm focusing my marketing efforts on Zoras. Actually, I'd like to do business someplace where it's cooler and the air is clean. But to open business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. You know, traveling customs, the home nine yards. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know. Here, take your smelly deed and just give me mine. Oh, that's a mountain title deed. Thank you so much. I'll give you this land in exchange. Da 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 da. The ocean title deed. Woohoo! Yahoo! Oh, <laughs> I guess that wasn't appropriate. I'm off to the resort. The mountains are calling me. That's actually a place I wouldn't mind staying, just for kicks and giggles. I mean, I wouldn't want to like live there because I'm so used to. Um, living in Florida, as you guys have probably heard me, heard me spout off enough. I'm used to humid, dry, kind of... Um, well, I guess it can't be. Well, sometimes it is dry, but I'm used to humid air where, you know, land is flat and there's not really a whole lot of density. You have to worry about messing with your breathing and stuff. 
So I probably wouldn't want to live in the mountains, especially since I have allergies up the wazoo, pretty much, that are horrendous. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Ooh, I just realized we got a new whole heart. Nice. Alrighty, so that was pretty much all the trade thing I wanted to do. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't really know how much time I have. You know what? I got plenty of time. Let's go ahead and do it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head off to the mountains, and we're going to fight Goat again, So we need it to be spring, so excuse me while I do that. You know what, let's go ahead and pick that one up while we're over here, because this is a pain in the butt to get up here anyway. Um, oh, that's another thing I should probably point out. Whenever you're going over here, because there's a heart piece over here actually. Oh, dude, get... Come on, stupid boulder. Or snowball. I don't know, is it boulder snowball? I'm just going to say it. It's boulder, man! I'm telling you, the snowball boulders just need to get out of the way, man. Okay, sorry. Had to get that fill out of me. Phil... Who's Phil? I don't know. <laughs> no, Phil as an F-I-L-L, man. Alrighty, so, yeah, you'll notice that these platforms... There's some invisible platforms here, but there's another thing that you should probably keep note of. You're gonna need the Scarecrow song for this particular heart piece. It's way out over here, past these invisible blocks of ice. You're gonna play the Scarecrow song, which I kept it the same as before, thankfully, so... to avoid confusion for me and for you guys. But, what was I going to say? Oh, the thing I needed to point out. You need to make sure you play the Scarecrow song, or teach, learn a new... Yeah, let's try that again. Teach the Scarecrow a new song? You can teach him the same song you told him last time? No, yeah, that's nice. You can dance around. Otherwise, he will not be able to come, and he... Nice, really. Seriously? Let's try a different word. He will not be able to show up because he won't recognize your song, because... Whenever you start time over, it just, for some reason, his memory gets shot, you know? I mean, if only he had a brain, I guess you could say. I guess that's the inside joke they were putting whenever they were making this game or something, I don't know. But, just an FYI for those who are trying to get heart pieces, and you need that heart particular heart piece, and you've already given the Scarecrow a song, but for some reason it's not working, try teaching the Scarecrow the song again, because that's probably what your problem is. Yeah, I know, there's something out there, but tell me, where do you know what it is? So, I'll see you guys in Snowhead Temple, guys. Guys and gals, sorry. Don't want to forget the ladies, man. I mean, seriously, I'm a ladies' man. Snowhead Temple. Oh, what? Ye who heard my remains. Return to the appointed place to face me. What place? Whoa, snap! Flashing lights. Wow. Yep, that's right. For those who are eager boss hunters and just enjoy fighting the boss over and over and over again, all you have to do is just step into this little light and it'll automatically teleport you. Like it's Abra, basically. Teleporting you to the last uh, Pokemon Center. It, this is just going to teleport you straight to the boss's chamber. Nice and easy. And there we are, there's Goat. Dude, come on! Stop with the lightning! You're not freaking, you're not the Fire Nation of the Avatar, you can't shoot lightning. Seriously, man, what the fudge? If I had to deal with his bathroom break problems he's got, oh, that'd be some, that'd be a world of pain. I'd be sitting, and where's the gas X, man, seriously? Because if I have my butt, if my butt is smoking because of how much dumping I'm doing, oh, you know something's up. Oh well. Another round with Goat, and I say that's two for Silent S and zero for Goat. Just as it should be, baby. Oh, yeah. So I guess we've got to go set ourselves or step in the mystical light. Unfortunately, when you do this, you won't be able to talk to the giants again like you would like to. You know, you would think you'd be able to freely go in there just to say, Hi, how you doing? But I think that only works... Apparently, it really only works whenever you actually, like, free a spirit or something, you know? You know, it's like, I guess it's how Aang can't control in the Avatar. Sorry if I sound like I'm going to be talking a lot of Avatar lately, if my commentary goes in that direction, but I actually sat down and watched recently all of the Avatar because I wanted to be, like, up to date with things when I started sitting down watching Korra, or at least whenever I can sit down and watch Korra because I get, or Legend of Korra, I'm sorry. There isn't just a Korra, it's Legend of Her story. And anyway, this I guess the story goes, Legend of Korra is the sequel to Avatar The Last Airbender, and I kind of want to 
I'm a fan of that series, and it, I hadn't seen it in a while, and I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and watch that series, so... Yeah, just FYI for those who are like, why does he keep talking about the Avatar The Last Airbender, you man? Seriously, I mean, it was a good show, but it's not that good of a show. Well, to stack with you then, sir, ma'am, it was an awesome show. It deserves all the praise it gets. And Mike, Demi Mike, what's his name? Demetrio or something like that. I can't pronounce his name right. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll put it in like a, in a text box like I normally do whenever I can't think of something right on, right off the back of my hand. And I'll just kind of say, this is what I meant to say because my brain is just too stupid to remember things. Ooh, that's a bonus there. Anyway, while I was ranting, this is a heart piece you can actually pick up after you defeat Goat, but you have to have the Zora Mask to do it. Um, while you're over here, actually, there is a chest we can go and pick up, and considering I don't really have a whole lot- Dude, go away. To my worst favor- to my least favorite enemies, I do not want to deal with you right now. Go away. Go fly somewhere, go swim somewhere, go die somewhere. That's all I care. Just get out of my face, fool. Your breath stinks, and you got some serious halitosis. Anyhow, like I was saying, there is a chest over here. It's only 20 rubies, so if you miss it, don't feel bad. I promise you, you're not missing on, on really anything. Looking for adventure. And whatever comes our way. Yeah, no, I... Don't enlist me ever to be a singer or concert singer or entertainer, for that matter. <laughs> I'd probably have everybody going, Boo! You stink! You know. Seriously, I'm pretty bad. Alright, so the next thing we're probably going to go ahead and take care of is we're actually going to take on the Don Jiro quest. I have been waiting for you, Don Jiro. Ribbit. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. Are you trying to say I was fat? What the heck, man? As you can see, Don Jiro. Ribbit. The long winter has ended, and spring has finally come to these mountains! Ribbit. Let us begin our course! Ribbit. Yeah, we're still short of four men choir, or five men choir here. Unfortunately, Ribbit. it seems not all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it is because winter was too long? They must not have realized that spring has come to the mountains. And when the great Don Jiro has come for us too, what a pity! <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Yes, it is, indeed. Where in the world could the other members be? And what could they be doing? Who knows? Well, actually, I probably do. Ooh, you know what? I just realized something. There's a chest over there. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't realize... Wait, where's, where's it at? Am I blind? Where the heck's this chest at? Woohoo! Chest! Where you at? Is it, like, in behind the waterfall, maybe? Let me see here. I, I'm, I'm curious. Curiouser and curiouser. You know, kind of like an Alice in Wonderland. I know there's... Ugh, come on, man. I know there's gotta be a chest or something. I see it on the map. Right on the bottom right map, if you look, you can see it says there's a chest there, but... I don't know. Maybe it's invisible? Let's try that. Hello? Chest? Chest? Woohoo! Come on, woman's chest, pop out! Oh wait, no, that's that sounded kind of wrong, I guess. Wait a minute. You know what? I see it. I see the opening. Here it is. Sweet Jesus! Yeah, yeah. Here it is, baby. Another hidden chest. Come on, let it be hundred rubies. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Twenty rubies, really? Well, that's lame. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's the end of this episode. I hate to do this to y'all because we have a crap ton to do still, but. That's how it rolls. That's how we do it sometimes. You know, I don't want to make these, like, incredibly long, but I also want to make sure we get enough done so we're not sitting sitting in the next episode feeling like we got the whole world, the weight of the world on our shoulders, so. I guess that's question of the video. Um, what is, what are some New Year's resolutions you guys have that you would like to share with the world, if you wish to? You don't have to if you don't want to, obviously. I mean... I never make it requirement to say, you must answer the question of the video, but I kind of make it to where, you know, if you want to, you can. I mean, I, I appreciate any of you who've answered thus far, or even if you didn't answer, you know, you've commented something about my video you liked or didn't like, or something you thought was funny, or just something that was on your mind, you know, that's, that's cool too, so. Anyway, I'm rambling here, so... I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Love you all very much. Please don't let your toes flap. 
and peace out, y'all. Check it!